Oh, Kirby Smart. Oh, Kirby Smart, Georgia coach. So Mississippi State quarterback Michael Van Burnen went running to the sidelines. He was on the sidelines. Smart shoved him. It's on the teeth. There was no penalty. There was nothing. Quarterbacks are usually protected. I know the elephant in the room. Do I think it was racial? Do I think it was intentional? I think it was privilege. I think he knew he could do something and didn't have no merits of fines or nothing. Quarterbacks are usually protected. What does it look like with a college coach putting his hands on somebody or a coach for that matter? You know, people don't really even talk about Sean Payton's outburst with Bo Nixon for the Denver Broncos or what he did to Russell Wilson. Like you're supposed to take that. We know what happened with Bobby Knight, but they because he won all those titles in the end. Of, people kind of let that slide. Or Woody, 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 Woody Hayes, Ohio State grabbing. You know, when they used to berate you, the coaches getting in your face saying stuff. So I will say this. Kirby Smart can say he didn't realize or what have you, but he knew his privilege. He saw the white uniform. The guy was the opposite team of Mississippi State. He knew that the guy, he didn't taunt him. Coaches are aware. Tell you how I know coaches are aware. Because I forgot what game it was where Bill Belichick was mic'd up. I think it was against the Ravens. He knew where the players were on the other team. The smart coaches, and I like to think Kirby Smart is kind of smart because they did win back-to-back chips and they've been a contending team. I like to think they're pretty smart. So it's not like you could sit there and go, I know he was. I, I, I. You know. You know. You know. Now, are you going to play deep and play crazy and definitely like you don't see things? That's another story. But you know. What do I think should happen to the guy? I think he should get fined. I don't know about suspended, but he should get fined. They should make an example out of Kirby Smart for this. Putting your hands on a player from another team and it's clearly out of bounds and you shoved him. And that's a lot of audacity. Now, yeah, he went and he apologized to the other team coach and the quarterback, but he didn't have to do that. Got to make him accountable. People are going to come at me and say, well, you don't you think you think everything? I don't trust none of it. I don't. Let me tell you a few stories. We have a thing called NIL. We have Pluck House players getting money now. So if anybody shows or jars or someone, they're liable. You were liable before, but you're more liable now. And you don't want to send nothing like that out. So Kirby Smart should be held accountable for that. And I thought that was a bit much. Yeah. I'm going to take that stance. I don't care who don't like it. Ain't nobody shoving the crowd. He's clearly out of bounds. And you shoved him on the sideline. Who you think you is, Kirby Smart? It's a lot of audacity. But he thinking that he's exempt. And that's how I feel about it. Okay, what nobody say. It's gone on too long. And you say college players and all that. Well, that's real. But anyway, tell me what you think. Please like, subscribe, welcome, thoughts, comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And uh, hit that membership. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Stay true. Stay real. Stay free. Stay woke. Speak your mind. If you feel something like it with an accordance, express it. I'm out one time.